So here's a bizarre one. This is a little bit what you're talking about, about funny powers. Is this in So, no, this isn't a calculated thing. This is just a numbers thing. Oh, okay. So here's a little theorem. There are a pair of irrational numbers, x and y, with x to the y is a, a rational number. It's a little bit surprising, right? It seems like if you took, you know, e to the pi, that should pretty clearly be irrational, right? Like, but there's always a chance. There, yeah, there's a small chance, and if you spend a little time playing with it, if it were random, it would be probability zero. Yeah, because there's way more numbers than you. Yeah, there's way more irrational numbers than there are rational numbers in some kind of reasonable way. But there's a cool little proof to this, which is fun. So this is just like, here's a proof. Think about the square root of 2 to the square root of 2 power. Right? Think about it. This is a number. Yeah? So it's either rational or it's not. Right, so there's two options. One, this is rational. In which case, here are your x and y. You're done. You guys see that? That would be check done. On the other hand, right, the other option is that square root of 2 to the square root of 2 is irrational. Right, there's only the two options. So then you take this thing and raise it to the square root of 2 power. Yeah. What do you get? You get square root of oh, 2 another to irrational. You get, you get square root of 2, square root of two, two squared, yeah. which is 2. Oh, wait. Right? So oh. you just found Which is rational. definitely rational. So you just found two irrationals that are. Ah, uh, did I? Assuming the first. Was. You guys see this? In the end here, I know that one of these two pairs, right, either square root of 2 and square root of 2 is the x and y in the theorem, or square root of 2 to the square root of 2 and square root of 2 are the rationals, right? <laughs> or are the irrationals? <laughs> so since, like, either case, you know one of them exists. So one of my solutions is x is the square root of 2 and y is the square root of 2. Or x is the square root of 2 to the square root of 2, and y is the square root of 2. So we don't know which one, but we know one of them has to be. Yeah, this is the fun thing. In the end, you're not sure which pair actually works, but you know that one of the pairs has to work. <laughs> so you That's prove, you you prove that pairs exist. <laughs> yeah, so, right, I'm just trying to exhibit a pair. You kind of In the end, actually, I don't know which pair it is. But I do know that one of these pairs works. Okay. You see that? Yeah. Please note that the square root of 2 of the square root of 2 of the square root of 2 is not square root of 2 squared. Because I no. just tried to do that, and it's well, not. Order operations, probably. Somewhere. No, I made sure that the order well, operations I don't think the calculator is right. going to like it. No, this, the square root of 2 to the square root of 2 to the square root of 2 is, in fact, 2. I want you to show me. I actually want you to show me. I just did. It's yeah. this. The x was square root of two. 2 squared. Because you multiply the Because you have to multiply the powers. the powers. So you get square root of 2 squared is 2. The square root of 2 squared is 2. So it would be like 2 times 1 half is 1, and 2 to the 1 power is 2. If you raise an exponent to an exponent, you multiply exponents. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would be like 2 to the 1 half times two to the two. Yeah, two to exactly. One. Yeah, so another way you could think is... Yeah, you if you square it, you can multiply it by two. It's very uninformative, but informative. Like, yeah, the, the square root of two, the square root of two of two, square, uh, the square root of two, of 